Hey ho, my name is Joe. Welcome back to my channel. Today is day seven of my reading reset. So let's dive in, shall we? Hello there. If you are new here, my name is Joanna and I am in, right in the middle of a reading reset where I go over the previous year where I talk about all the books that I read in the previous year and today we're actually on day seven so we are starting to look forward to this year um this is my most anticipated releases of 2023 and some of these i am pretty excited for and i have a lot to talk about so let's go ahead and get started so the first one that i want to talk about is a book that i am pretty excited for it is from an author that i found on tiktok and that is lamplighters by j gabriel gates this is his first middle grade book and this one the concept and the idea of this sounds really interesting uh this comes out on what is it january 17th or the 19th the correct one will be posted on the screen so this one is like I said interesting it is about these group of people that live in complete and total darkness or they're afraid of the dark or it's something like that I can't exactly remember I can't find a synopsis on it I've looked everywhere uh, let's check Amazon real quick Maybe we can find it there um, a Oh, I love, 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 love letters. What's it? The lamp letters. If forgive me. <laughs> uh, let's see, do they have a synopsis posted? Okay, a cursed city, a young warrior, a magical journey. Um, it is always night in the city of Evron. I think that's what it says. Uh, black clouds smother the sky and monsters called Vexters lurk in the dark, ready to drag the unwary away. Twelve-year-old Gane dreams of becoming a lamplighter, one of the young heroes with the flaming spears who light the city's street lamps and keep the darkness at bay. Gane's dreams come true until the lamplighter's crew get ambushed and beyond the wall and his beloved brother Brawl is carried by away by the Vexters. Gane vows to get him back when the only, but his only remaining companion is Loa, Nona? Mr. Gates, help me out here. <laughs> uh, the ill-tempered daughter of the city's most notorious miscreant. Okay. Together they must cross the enchanted forest, befriend magical beings, and battle vicious creatures until they reach a place of evil, very impress Nima. Whom the Vexters serve. In order to defeat the Empress and brawl back, Gain and Loya must uncover the truth and everyone's curse, a mystery that could only save their city or doom it. So th this is his first attempt at a middle grade and that adventure just sounds so great. And I am so excited for this book. I cannot wait. Um, I do know that I am having a copy sent to me on this one because uh, I joined his Kickstarter a little while back because uh, I found this author on TikTok and this author is very sweet. Uh, I have read a few of his books and I am so excited for this book. I cannot wait for this book to come out. Uh, this book cannot come out soon enough. It just can't. <laughs> Alright, the next one we have is The Librarian of Burned Books by Brianna Lebeskis. I think I'm totally saying that right, name wrong. Uh, so this one comes out on February 21st. And so this one has three separate timelines, so it's probably going to be a little bit confusing to follow. Uh, but it takes place in Berlin in 1933, Paris 1936, and New York in 1944. Uh, so this one um, is a World War II era, and I'm going to stop right there because you guys all know, or if you're new here, I love the World War II era. I try not to go into any book without really knowing much about it. Uh, but this one, uh, it intertwines the fates of three women who believe the power of books is a triumph over the darkest moments of war. So, 
the magic of books. That's kind of what the vibes I'm getting from it. And this one just sounds very, very exciting to me. I am very excited for this one. Uh, the next one we have is Happy Place by Emily Henry. I feel like this one's been all over the map. Emily Henry is a very, very much loved uh, author right now. Uh, this one comes out on April 25th of 2023. And this one... Uh, this one is about a couple who broke up months ago and made a pact to still be together for their annual league-long vacation when their best friends are glittering and wise. Uh, so they broke up. They pretend that they're still together. Fake dating. Yes, please. I still yet to read an Emily Henry book, uh, but this one definitely sounds up like my alley. I want, really want to read Book Lovers uh, because that one was very intriguing to me. But this one is more intriguing. I think this might actually be the first book that I read by her. Uh, but we will see where my year goes at this point. So we're very excited for that one. Ooh, this one. Okay. So The Sisters of the Lost Nation by Nick Medina. This one... This one, like, pulled me in, okay? So this one comes out on April 18th of 2023. Uh, this one pulled me in because it has to do with Native American stories, and this one was actually more, I'm actually more anticipating this one for my husband. Uh, I definitely feel like my husband would enjoy this a lot more than I would. A young Native girl's hunt for answers for the women mysteriously disappearing from her tribe's reservation leads her to dwell the myths and stories of her people while being haunted herself. It sounds great. Uh... Like, like I said, this is definitely a more anticipation for my husband. I definitely feel like he would like this one more than I would. But if you guys don't know, my husband is Native American. And I definitely feel like my husband would bond with this a little bit more than I would. Because if something would happen onto the reservation where he's from, the whole community would come in and swoop in and help. And I definitely feel like that's the vibe that I'm getting from this. So this is anticipation for him. But I probably end up reading it myself. Ooh, I was very excited for this one. So, Someone Else's Life by Lynn Lowe Butler. I think I'm definitely saying that wrong. Uh, horrible at names. Please, please bear with me. Uh, this one comes out on February 1st. And this one follows a life in paradise which should have been healed wounds for a woman struggling to hold her family and her sanity one stormy night could change everything. Uh, blow by blow, her whole entire life crumbles, her dance studio goes bankrupt, her mother and, and dog are gone in the same year, and a terrible accident leaves her young son traumatized. Just It just sounds like a bad year. Like, and it... I mean, and I definitely, I think we've all had those years that are just really, really bad. Like, my year last year was, was last year. Like, and, I mean, this is a thriller, so this is what kind of drew me in. I love a thriller book. I love a good th thriller mystery. And, I mean, I don't think it's mystery, but I think it's definitely a thriller. So, I'm very, very excited for that one. Okay, the next one I have is The Mitford Affair by Marie Benedict. Uh, this one... It takes place between the two world wars and six six, six sisters no the six mitford sisters dominate english political literary and social scenes there are weathered scandals before a family falls in disarray one discovers or one di divorces her husband to marry a leader and the other sisters uh also marry leaders and but one of them also becomes hitler's own mistress. What? I mean, ah, this uh, that is just the first first part of the synopsis, and this one, I mean, historical fiction. Sign me up, okay? But one of them will basically have to choose between her country or her sisters, and. 
I mean, who do you choose? You choose your country or your sister? Like, that's what I want to find out. Like, what is she going to choose? I don't know. Oh, and okay, so this next one I'm actually pretty excited for because uh, this one is the start of a new series. And I'm, uh, hi, I'm your girl. I'm a series person. Uh, so this one is A Crown of Ivy and Glass by Claire Legrand. And this one comes out on May 9th. Uh, so this one is about a girl. Her family is young. She's gorgeous. She's rich. And her family was annoyed by the gods, blessed with incredible abilities. But underneath her glittering self, Gemma is deeply sad. Years ago, her sister was taken and the guard... Her sister was taken, and her family just basically, her mother just left. Like, her mother abandoned the family, and her father and her eldest sister um, ended up getting into this, like, horrible feud and completely forgot that Gemma existed. Oh, sorry. The, the main character's name is Gemma. Uh, but worst of all, she has no magic, and her body fights off this magic that she's supposed to have like off like a poison so she comes very very ill she becomes very lonely but she yearns and craves to just belong in her, in her world and i feel like this one we can all relate to like we all want to thrive and just be wanted in the world but not everybody is willing to let us i mean that's how i feel about the world but you know that's just me hi uh, I feel like this next one everybody has been talking about and with a good reason. I mean, he's a fantastic author. Uh, I have read, I say I read it about a year or so, uh, about two years ago now, uh, House in the Cerulean Sea. Uh, so this is his next one, In the Lives of Puppets by T.J. Klune. Uh, so this is about a strange little home that was built in the branches of trees and there's lived three little robots by an inventor and three different types of robots and robots i mean it this sounds like a cross between to me this is what it sounds like it sounds like a cross between um nightmare before christmas and I robot <laughs> uh, if you guys know what movie uh, I robot by that has Will Smith in it that's the movie I'm thinking of uh, so that it kind of feels like a cross between that for me and I'm here for it so this next one I feel like not many people have talked about it just because I feel like a lot of people don't really read the nonfiction like I do uh, but I love nonfiction especially when it comes to the royal family I do try to read something royal family I do follow the royal family uh, but that is Spare by Prince Harry this is basically his life in his words and just I'm all here for it I like it, it, it's gonna be I feel like it's gonna be really nice to see his life and his world and see what he went through and this comes out on January 10th I forgot to mention the other one hold on uh, Life of Puppets or The Lives of Puppets comes out on April 25th um, but Spare I'm definitely here for it I'm very very excited and this one comes out in a couple of days and you better believe I'm going to be at my bookstore purchasing this book because I am so excited. All right, next we have Heartstopper Volume 5 by Alice Oseman. Everybody is talking about this book. This book has been the one topic among my book talk friends, among my online friends, among my personal friends. This book is everywhere. Oh, it's right there. And I mean absolutely everywhere. 
we haven't gotten a cover for it yet. Uh, and it doesn't look like we quite have a release date for it. Oh, there it is. Uh, so the release date on this is February 2nd. And I definitely could not be any more excited. I am, this is going to be the final book in the Heartstopper series. I definitely feel like i would be rereading all these books when this comes out. I'm going to do a whole entire binge of it. I am so excited for this book. Uh, if you're not familiar with this series, but I feel like you should be because it's everywhere. This follows a sweet little gay couple who are in high school and uh, one of them is a little scared to come out and you just follow their journey and it's just so heartwarming, it's so touching and this whole entire story just warms my heart and I cannot wait. Just, I cannot wait. Um, is there a release date on this one? Because if there isn't... Yes, we don't have a release date for this one yet. I don't know if it's coming out this year. Uh, but this is would be the second book of Forging Silver into Stars by Bridget Kemmerer. And I could not be any more excited. But I don't think we actually have a release date for it yet. So we're just going to pretend that didn't happen. Alright, so my most anticipated releases might be a little bit different than yours. Please let me know down in the comments what your favorites are. Um, I did forget to say in the beginning, uh, the... I did forget to say in the beginning, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post. I am posting for the first 12 days of January to basically reset my reading life and I have been doing this on my own for quite a while, but when I started my booktube, I started doing a video, kind of like a video diary of it so other people can enjoy it as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you are excited for any of these or if there's any other book that you're excited for that you think I should check out. Please leave a comment down below. As always, every book that I mention, especially in this, this video, I will leave a link to them on Goodreads so you can go check them out for yourself and I highly recommend you do. But thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I have a tag video uh, listed. But I think tomorrow we're actually going to do an update on me uh, because I have been absent for quite a while and I think it's just time to let it all out, let it out in the open and let you guys know what's been going on with me. So thank you so much for watching guys and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Uh, I still have yet to read actually an Emily Hem... Emily Hem... Hem... So this next one I feel like I haven't seen very... very Try that again.